What's poppin' everybody back with another video. In this video, we got WAC 100 and the 100 ENT show. They're speaking on YSL Woody being on trial, his behavior, what he's been saying, and what does that mean for the fate of Young Thug. They also get into the zones in Atlanta, breaking that down. Let's get into the video and we'll talk after. So they tell me after we had our conversation, Zine, and I was kind of like giving our man some angles to fake attorney. They say the Woody went just right in there and did exactly what I said. Started telling them he made everything up. Yeah, yes, we knew. We knew what. Yes, we knew what he was going to do when he started scratching. I said, oh, I know this play. I seen this. I said, yo, what's this going to do next? He's going to start telling them all he made everything up. Oh, oh, it ain't over. I'm telling you, Woody and that black attorney going to be the ones to take the stand on the judge. Why? Hey, you think that he, you think that he, that he, they case up? Bro, hey, so, it, hey, it, it can definitely crooked. lead to a mistrial. It can definitely lead to a mistrial or that judge about to step down. That judge step down, the next judge ain't gonna wanna have nothing to do with nothing. Yes, sir. That's what it was looking like, bro. So if that judge step down, you think he'll be able to walk? No, he, I mean, nah, they, you know, they gonna go, they gonna, gonna run it back. Walk. They gonna, I, I believe he gonna have to run it back. I think um, he gonna have to run it back. But you know, I ain't gonna lie. If I got his pick, we choose guilty in the mistrial. <laughs> mistrial a hundred miles. Miles. Bell, man. Mistrial a hundred miles hey, over. I'm taking that every time. Nigga, no, did they nah, get no wine bell. Bell. So didn't. So on the f didn't. Nah, they, they ain't even get my pops. No, they don't get no bells on that. I don't get no pop. I talked to my pop yesterday. Many. He said he ain't get no bell. I don't get no bells on all. Shot too it. many witnesses. But this is what I don't understand. When the lawyers calling the witnesses to the stands, they asking them like where they live at and all that. They say that on the stand. Like that ain't that's that's not right. I, mean, I don't think they asking the address. They just asking if you from Atlanta probably. Like well, zone six or two or four, whatever their zones is. I've been like really trying to like put that together. So I gotta find, I better know it's a map on Google. The zones in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely got a zone map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Y'all got zones. a map with y'all, but all y'all zones. It's six zones, it's six zones right? Yeah. Yeah, we do, but guess what, bang? What's that? Go find me a, a map with the, uh, or the skinheads. Go find me one of them. No, sir. There's not those. There's, it's only black and brown. Only black and the brown. Get you every day with more. God, tell you what neighborhood, shady red or blue or so all crazy. Nah, but crazy. I, 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 um, I ran across the, the, the one time and I was just like looking through it, kind of crazy, bro. Like the, like, like the way y'all like across the street is just a whole nother world type. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, you gotta remember, Beverly Hills ain't nothing but four, five miles from the ghetto. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Hey, Wag, what's yeah. that area like? Say I'm coming through. See, I'm coming through Hollywood trying to get to like, like, almost like Beverly Hill. It's that little area, and it's like a lot of Jews over there. It's almost Hancock like- Hancock Park. That sh is not, I That's swear Hancock to God I want to live. I swear to God I want to live over there. That's so no, nice. I always wanted to live over there. Hancock. Tuck, yo, that's my gotta, part of, yo, I love that right gotta, there, Wack. You see the Jewish people walking around with the hat. They got a private school, a real expensive private school. Hancock Park is dead center in the middle. You, it you, look like nothing going on perfect. To the right is Hollywood, yeah. Beverly Hills, and then to the left, about three miles, four miles, your ass is in the gutter, but that's Hancock Park. You better not go over there, play. I like that area. I want a house there you get and off lay on low. And go all the way down. Yep, there go. I, I, stayed on, I stayed on North Highland and uh, Franklin right. by the 7 Eleven. And then when I used to try to go down to you know South Central, my wife, instead of getting on the highway, I want to cut through and all I'll right, take way. that. And I used to look, I used to drive and look at that whack. I tell my wife, I said, yo, when we get on, we moving right here. We ain't going nowhere else. I ain't going to Englewood. We going right here, right here. That shit look quiet, ain't bothering nobody. I ain't about to bother, nobody about to bother me. None of that, I don't gotta worry about a running through my door. None of that. Playing over there. None of that, Why I got in the houses. What I liked about the house is because they got that long ass driveway. When you go in the back, the backyard not crazy big, but then they got that nice ass little tiny houses in the back. So it's like almost like you got two properties on one with a driveway. And it, I, I, I just like that area, bro. I like that area, bro, for real. Damn, it's it looks like. Expensive looks over like, there, huh? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Zone. So what's the most dangerous zone? Zone two look like it's kind of, it's big, but I don't know. 
Look like zone, zone five on might be. Side. Look like zone five might be the most dangerous because that motherfucker is surrounded by all the other. Ones. Well, zone five is like what, like like downtown and like midtown, right? Oh, that's zone five. What what rapping from zone five? Yeah, that's like Ansley Park. Castle okay, Bay. so you can access all the other zones from zone five. That's what like Pee Wee Longway like hangs out at. Like zone six is yeah. where it's like you know Candler Park, East, of, you know Atlanta type stuff, but. East um, yeah, East Atlanta type stuff. Zone two is like zone, more like the Buckhead. Zone one is West Side, right? right? Zone four is West Side. Zone like, three, yeah, West like South Side. Way. What's zone three considered South Side? What's that? Where are you? I think Southwest. Yeah, zone three is like South. Yeah, more like South. South. Zone South two East, is North yeah. Side. Zone two is more like North. Yeah, North. North, East, north, north Side. Buckhead type. So zone one and six look like it might be the ones. What's the, what's the popular zones, the dangerous zones? More dangerous, shut up. West say. Side, number one and six, that's uh, Decatur, that Decatur and that uh, West Side. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what six. I thought. One and six, that's what I thought. Yeah. And now does uh, six get into it with three? Lloyd said Decatur was greater. They say one, four, and six. So zone one and four, do they get into it or does... Does one and four ride together get six? No, I don't know those politics. Oh, no, I, don't I just know, know the, yeah. Because one and four on top of each other, either they at it, because they so close, or they together against six, or maybe six with one, and then they don't get it, they don't move forward. Six with four, they don't move one. Oh, so they zones beef with each other? Yeah, because I hear zone four a lot too, Wax. So yeah, I be uh, zone. And a lot of from zone six don't go to zone one. Yeah, see, I, I just understand. Man, I just understand territory, but I'm figuring that's gonna happen like that. The one and four together against six. Yo, what? Quick question. What up? Yo, when it comes to what he do, like, what what you think his like end goal is? Like, what? Like, I don't, cause I'm not. Yeah, he trying to make his wrong right. Is that what it? Like, I can't, cause I, I, I can't. Trying to make his wrong right. But he went wrong so long. What would make him just have a change of heart? That like all of a sudden, like, no change of heart. He's survival. He trying to make his yeah. wrong right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it remind me of that scene in The Godfather when they walked in with the uncle from from Italy, and he just like, well, I said, what yeah, when uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what uh, dude, um, remember that's the dude that they, He uh, slid his own wrist in a, in a out. joint. The old dude, they was choking him yeah. out in the, in the thing, and the police came in, so he thought Mikey ordered the hit, but he didn't. So dude turned on him, was telling him everything, they went and flew the uncle out from, uh, At least folk. Yeah, from, from Italy. Sister, he just saw, he saw his brother, no, that was his brother. He saw his brother walk in. He couldn't do it. Yeah, it just gave me flashbacks of that when I'm watching him yesterday. I'm like, this dude looking around the room and just felt like. You know what? I gotta watch The Godfather. I hear y'all reference The Godfather a lot. It's so many thing. principles in it. You can watch it a million times it. and get a new thing every time. Cause you know when I, you know when you're like younger watching it or just seeing it, not really. You know, you don't really grasp the concept like you like i would now nah, you so it's do been a long you time. do you grab the concept i mean i wasn't really no. into it like that like for whatever reason i know i was distracted because i can't tell you that much about the godfather no this is what i'm saying you know when you watch the godfather you grasp the concept for whatever whatever you're whatever you at in your life wherever you are so like i said the old it's like one of them books you read and when you read it every time you read it yeah, no matter how old new. you get it is different yeah it's, it's one of the yeah so my thoughts on this this trial has been nothing short of a circus it's been crazy from the jump and woody man him on trial the stuff he's saying especially the part about saying he thought he would have to kill young thug it's just this whole situation is making the defense and the prosecutors just look crazy the whole trial looks crazy every time he takes the stand he says something like just off the wall and then even at one point what he says he took special ed classes and can't understand questions it was just shout out the law and crime because you know giving us this like visual of what's going on with this whole trial and keeping us up to date with every detail it just let you know how crazy this is so what do you guys think the outcome of this is going to be you think it's going to be mistrial you know do you think young young thug is going away for a long time what do you think is going to happen what's the end result let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one i'm out